Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to be introducing you to Vector Freeze inside of Unreal Engine. Now in the past few videos, we've been going over some numerical values, some numerical data types, and the one that I want to work with in today's video is a vector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a vector and just change the variable type in the details panel to a vector and compile it and then you'll notice it's going to ask for a couple bits of information. So with this, essentially what a vector is, is it's a variable that can store 3D information or free pieces of information rather. So with this vector, you'll notice underneath the information that it's asking me for in the default value, it is currently asking for an X, a Y, and a Z. And that X and the Y and the Z can be used for all sorts of things. So inside of the game, a practical use for a vector would be something like the location. If I click on an item here like this light, for example, you can see the location is minus 80, minus, sorry, minus 80, 90, and 180. It's asking for three different float values. Same goes for rotation. It needs three values and the scale too because it's a 3D world and that is why you would use a vector. So if we open up our level blueprint again, we can begin to work with this. So what I'm going to do to show you how you can use a vector is I'm going to show you how to get the information from an actor within our scene store it inside of a vector and then change it nice and easily. So with this variable that I created here, I'm just going to right click on this and then rename it and I'm going to give it the name test vector just like this. And then if I go ahead and drag this into my scene, I can either get a reference to it or I can set it. So if I was to get the reference to it at the moment, it would just give us the default value. Now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to, on begin play, I'm going to delete all of this old code from the last episode, I am actually going to select my light point here and then I am going to use get actor location and then because I've got the light selected it's going to get a reference to that and you're going to notice it's going to give me a return value and this return value is the vector information for the location of the light. What I could then do with this is set test vector equal to that and then hook up my begin play to this and if I print string with this vector information hooked up you are going to notice it is going to show me the 3D information for that. It's going to show up in the log in the top left. So press play, give it a couple of seconds to compile and load the game and you can see it's going to show the location of that light which is really great. And whenever I move this light, so if I move it this way, press play, notice the value has changed. Uh, the first value has changed from minus 80 to 590. Uh, sorry, 580. So hopefully you guys are starting to see just how vector information can be used. You can also use it to change the location of an actor. So for example, we've got the scene in here, uh, we've got the light in here. In my level blueprint, what I could do is after I've done this, with my light selected, I could proceed to set actor location and then with this, if I go ahead and hook this up, what I can do is I could pretty much just get rid of this because we don't want to move it anymore. Uh, we don't want to get the location anymore is I could set the actor location and I could set it equal to test vector. Now what I'm going to do so you see this change is before this, before, sorry, after we begin playing, I'm going to run a delay of two seconds. And then after that, we are going to set the target to set actor location equal to the point light. So get point light or the item that's selected. So select this light and then right click and just create a reference to the point light. Hook this up to the target and then it's asking for some vector information, the new location. So what I'm going to do is just drag and get a reference to test actor and hook it up. 
And now what I'm going to do with my test vector is I'm actually just going to adjust this. So at the moment, it's set to minus 590, 90 and 180. So I'm going to put this information in. So minus 590, 90 and 180. And then what I'm going to do, so you notice a change, is I'm going to move it on the Y axis. So what I'm going to do is just move the Y to 180, just like that. And now if I compile, it's going to have a two second delay and then it's going to set the location of my point light to the new location defined within my vector variable. So if I go ahead and press play, look at the light, give it two seconds and what it should do is move. Now, if it's not look moving, that's perfectly fine. And the reason for that is because you're going to want to change this to movable. Press play, give it a couple of seconds, and you'll notice then it just jumped its location. So one, two, and it moves further away. So hopefully you guys can see the uses of vector data types inside of Unreal Engine 4. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, but I'm going to leave it here. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.